Good day fishing buddies wherever you are in the world today I hope you're catching plenty of fish and keeping them lines tight So it's sunrise here at the Gillam's Fishing Resort I'm just baiting up and today you're joining me in my quest to catch my first Mekong catfish so at the moment I'm spotting up, I'm chucking some bait out, I've got a spod mix here. I've done this on um, rods 1, 2 and 3, I have been doing it quite frequently and I have caught a lot of Siamese carp. What I am after is a Mekong catfish. Um, so let's go to the bait I'm using. On rod 1 I've got a single large sweet corn, on rod 2 I've got a double large sweet corn and on rod three i've got a single small sweet corn so let's chuck a spot mix out over rod three so like i say i have been doing this quite frequently um chucking a hemp mix well it's a spot mix i presume it's a, it's a mix of hemp and sweet corn i have been chucking this the uh, the spot mix quite frequently over the baits we're in straight away <laughs> i must say thank you to everybody um yesterday who was leaving comments regarding catching the mekong catfish because um i was trying to catch a mekong catfish yesterday i spent many hours i couldn't catch one i tried the boilies sweet corn everything I couldn't catch one so I've done a little bit more research today and I've decided I'm going to stick with one bait and that bait is corn I have seen people or people have left comments saying they've caught them on boilies they caught them on pop-up tiger nuts I've tried them and um, I have just been unlucky so I'm gonna to stick to the corn I've gone on Gillum's Fishing Resort's <laughs> website to see what bait these fish actually um, get caught on. And they say maize and boilies and pallets. So I'm going to stick to the corn. Now this looks a cracking, a cracker of a fish. Now I'm not too sure if this is a red tailed um, catfish or a Mekong catfish I'm hoping it's the Mekong catfish I'm not that familiar how well you know not how well but how they look in the water the Mekong catfish I've never had one out yet Looks like this is going to take quite a long time to get in. I hope it's not going to take me 20 minutes. Some of these fish in this lake, you know, I've, I've been playing them for about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes before I've actually landed them. There's some whoppers in this lake. Well, I'm hoping this is my first Mekong catfish. Doesn't have to be a whopper, I just want to catch a Mekong catfish. That's my mission. If you have a look at my community section on YouTube, um, you will see some of the uh, screenshots of some of the huge Siamese carp I have had out of here. There are some whoppers in here. There really is, and um, they take quite a long time to actually land. I haven't got a video up, I don't think, of me um, catching a Siamese um, carp. Not one of the big ones anyway, but I have got a couple of screenshots and um, a trophy screenshot of one of the, uh, the bigger Siamese carp. If you want to go have a look at them, they're in my community um section where i post a lot of um, screenshots of um, some of the fish that i call i catch i don't necessarily do a video on every trophy fish i catch but i i generally will put a, a screenshot up um started doing that on the facebook page as well and um, 
I also do it occasionally on Twitter. This fish is a Siamese carp. I was under the impression of going me con catfish on. It's a Siamese carp. Why didn't I notice that earlier? Ah, rod number two is going off. That's the large double corn on rod number two. Now, could, oh, this one's ready to come in. This is a this is a Siamese. This is a Siamese carp. Let's get this in quickly. Get this in quick, quick, quick. With rod number two. Might have a better fish on it. Yes, Siamese carp. Mm, by no means a monster. I've had a lot bigger out of here. Go check some of the uh, the screenshots in my community tab. Uh, run number two. Let's hit this. So I've been real lucky there because you can hardly hear the reels um, going off now. Um, been able to get rod number two. This feels I'm not quite sure yet whether this is another Siamese carp. One thing I haven't been bothered with while using corn is them great big monster. What are they called? Them Arapians or whatever they are. I, I, I can't pronounce it. It's got a stupid name, but it's a great big long fish. I've not had one of them on corn yet. This is going. This one is going. This could be a catfish. Probably a red tail catfish. They're lovely catfish, them are. I do like the red tail catfish in this lake. But I really want a Mekong catfish. I've not had one yet. I spent all yesterday trying to catch a Mekong catfish. I was on boiling sweet corn I kept swapping I did some lure fishing uh, you know I couldn't catch one I must have tried every single boiler I've done days nights afternoons clear skies rain the lot couldn't catch one <laughs> so I've decided to stay with corn this is going I'm going to lose this it's going right down the other side of the lake there this is a big fish So I don't know if this is a Mekong catfish, but the only thing that I've done different from yesterday when I was trying to catch a Mekong catfish and I never caught one is I've stuck to corn. Today I have stuck to corn and I have frequently casted out a spod mix over the baits. That's the only thing that I've done differently. This feels a cracker. This is a whopper, this is a monster fish, it has got to be a monster fish. I have had Siamese carp fight like this. So it could be another Siamese carp. I just hope it's a Mekong catfish. <laughs> Really going to watch your line tension when you're fighting these big powerful fish in this lake. Um, somebody um, commented saying they couldn't actually land the fish after five minutes. You know, they were, they were losing them. Well, you've got to have, I think you've got to have the 80 pound line on. And you've got to watch your tent. That's a catfish. That is a catfish. I'm not too sure if it's a red tail catfish, but we've got a catfish on. It could be a Mekong catfish. I'm not used to seeing them on the hook. <laughs> I've occasionally seen them at the edge of the water, but I've never caught a Mekong catfish. That's definitely a catfish. But yes, when, you, when you're playing these fish, you've got to watch your tension. Mine's right up there near the red. It was just, you've got to keep it out from where it bleeps. You don't want it bleeping 
too much otherwise you're going to pull the hook and lose the fish and it's the same if the line goes too slack and it bleeps um, you, you could uh, you could um, lose the fish you're going to have quite a bit of patience um, playing these fish just keep um, playing them and pumping the rod up and down and eventually you will you will get you will succeed you will land them but if you're losing them after you know five minutes you're doing something wrong in fact in fact these the fish in this lake I have lost a couple of fish from being a little bit impatient and putting a bit too much pressure on um, I have made the mistake of uh, pulling the hook a few times on this lake does take quite a lot of time to uh, reel these biggins in. I think the other rod's going off now. The bitey lawns are so low now. They've lowered the volume. I think uh, one of the other rods is going off. So we know we've got a catfish. I've caught every species of fish so far in this lake. I just need to catch a meat con catfish. Oh no, it's going out of sight. Oh, could lose this. Too much tension. Got to be careful of the tension. Oh no, it's going right down the lake. Oh no, 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 no. Don't want to lose this fish. She's going right in the margins as well, down the side of the lake. I'm just going to ease off just a little bit. Don't want to lose this now. I have lost fish on this lake before through being a little bit impatient. I'm just going to, hopefully it'll come swim back up the <laughs> puppy. Yeah, he's gone, he's gone virtually out of sight. It's going to take it a little bit easy. Oh, could lose it. See, when it bleeps like that, you've got too much tension on and you can, uh, you can pull the hook. You don't snap the line, you actually pull the hook. Right, we can actually see whereabouts the fish is now. It's a fighter! It's a fighter! Can't quite make out. It's most definitely a catfish. I don't think it's a red tail catfish. This could be the Mekong catfish that I have been hunting. I've been after one of these for so long that it's it's, it's just unbelievable. This is the yeah. Uh, is it a Mekong catfish? It most certainly does look. Does look like one. I'm not familiar with with catfish at all. Especially the, uh, I know the Wiles catfish, but I'm not that familiar with the uh, the Mekong catfish. Red tail catfish, you know, it's obviously, it's, you know, it's red tailed. <laughs> but, uh, can't quite tell on this one. 
living where I live you just don't catch fish like this so I'm a little bit unfamiliar with them at the moment as this could be the very first one that I have ever caught in the game Yes, I think we've got a Mekong catfish on here, chaps. I'm getting excited now. I've been after one of these for so long. Is it a Mekong cat? Oh, I've unlocked two achievements there. It's a Mekong catfish. We came. We conquered. Finally, finally, I've got a Mekong catfish. I don't know if it's a monster of a, a monster of a fish in this lake. I don't know if there's bigger Mekong catfish. Let me know in the comment section below. What have you chaps caught? A Mekong catfish on what baits have you been using um, let me know in the comment section below and it'll help other players as well who maybe have struggled to catch a Mekong catfish like I have that's my first Mekong catfish I'm well pleased at that how, how heavy was it I think it was was it 110 pounds absolutely fan dabby dozy unlock two achievements couldn't look, I, I think they said fully flexible or something and big arm workout i'm not too sure but i've got two achievements there as well absolutely fantastic i'll show you the setup guys um shortly if you like the video um smack that like button and don't forget to check out my community section because i do put some uh, screenshots up of trophy fish and other bits and bobs thanks for watching chaps so here's the setup guys this is the setup i was using to catch my very first mekong catfish it was actually rod number two you want to be looking at that's the one i caught the mekong catfish on it was a dark matter rig hook size two with sweet corn double large the other rods with the sweet corn single and the sweet corn single large, uh, large and small, I'd caught a lot of Siamese carp. But the Mekong fell to the sweet corn double large. I think that's the one I'm going to use now, chaps, from now on. Thanks for watching.